Okay, I removed the long ends of the pair of floor joists that were supporting the edge of the stairwell here. Now it's a clear cavity. It's a complete three and a half inch two by four depth all the way up and all the way down. And despite the fact that this was supposed to be a door jam, or it was in the past, this is a, this plane of the wall here is a bit long. This is where the trim was. What we're going to do is <clears throat> pack this out is the is the term there'll be a two by four uh here and then we'll use a half inch of plywood we'll rip it and just put it in like the meat in the sandwich and then we'll put in another two by four and that'll get us out coplanar with the edge of this because we'll have an inch and a half and then we'll have a half inch and then we'll have another inch and a half and we'll get ourselves three and a half and then i'll make us planer here and that will support coming around the corner with drywall to do a link up here or whatever board we end up using. But ultimately that means that this will become a smooth face over to here, turn and go down this wall and it'll simply be a finished corner. There won't be some sort of takeoff abutment thing uh, sticking out here, which it was nice where I was able to work behind this heavier wall covering and not break it away. Um, so we'll get this all packed out and that'll end up here and the beam will, end will sit on that. That'll create the pocket that supports the beam end. <coughs> And then I can come in with the saber saw and cut this board flush here and whatever patch we end up using will carry over here and we'll just put a corner bead on and it'll get some mud <clears throat> it'll become finished. So we're ready for install here. There were nails coming at me, uh, the tippy points of nails uh, coming over to the left, coming straight at us here and you can just lay your saber saw down Depending on what you've got, you can saber saw them off like that, ding, or you can actually m mush it over. It's hard to show with one hand, but you can you can mush the blade over and run it so that it zips them off kind of flush to here. And if there's a little tip sticking out, it can be smashed flat with a hammer. So now I've got myself a surgical cavity removal without disturbing the wall board or any of the other framing and punching out through the wall into the stairwell or this closet or what have you. So it's almost ready for the beam. What I'm going to end up doing is finding roughly the middle of the span where the beam needs to go and I will tag a block of 2 by 4 with one screw onto one of these floor joists kind of in the middle. So when I get on a ladder in the center of it and I pick it up clunk and it goes in there I can use my other hand to swing that tab that block around and it'll swing out underneath that beam and kind of hold there. They're not terribly heavy so this ought to work in a one man operation. So I'll go up in the middle of it and I'll throw the block around underneath the middle of it and it'll be sort of up there roughly but then I can get my measurements and pack in this lumber, get my measurements and pack in the lumber on this side of this duct and then I can take that scab block off once the appropriate support is underneath that beam. And that's just a funky part of working by yourself. You kind of have to think uh, along the lines of how to accomplish two-man tasks with one man. All right.